Emma of Normandy. One of the most represented early medieval queens in texts, Emma of Normandy was a Norman-born noblewoman who became the English, Danish and Norwegian queen consort through her marriages to Ethelred the Unready and Canute the Great. Emma was a strong-willed woman who participated actively in politics during the reigns of her sons, Edward the Confessor and Hartha Canute. If you would like to support my channel, please like, comment, subscribe or even check out my Patreon page. It really helps me to create new content. Emma of Normandy was born around the year 984 in France in a region called Normandy. She was the eldest daughter of Richard I, Duke of Normandy and Gunnar, Duchess of Normandy. She was the fifth child and had six siblings, Richard, Robert, Moger, an unnamed brother, Maud and Haviz. She also had at least three half-siblings, Geoffrey, William and Beatrice. Emma and her sisters were married off in powerful and valuable marriage alliances. Maud married Odo II of Blois, Count of Blois, Champagne and Chartres, and Haviz married Geoffrey I, Duke of Brittany. Emma married King Ethelred of England in 1002. Her brother Richard II, the Duke of Normandy, hoped that the marriage would improve relations between the English and the Normans after a failed kidnapping attempt against Richard by Ethelred. Ethelred hoped that the marriage would unite the two states against the Vikings, who were often based in Normandy. When Emma married Ethelred, she took the name of Ailgafu, a common Anglo-Saxon name, and became the Queen of England. They have three children together, Edward the Confessor, Alfred and Goda. In 1013, Svein Forkbeard of Denmark invaded and Emma and her young children fled to Normandy. Ethelred soon joined them there. The following year, Svein died and Ethelred was reinstalled as King of England. Ethelred died in 1016. Ethelred's first wife had produced a few children and all of his sons by his first wife were ranked ahead of Emma's sons in the line of succession. Emma attempted to get Edward, her eldest son, recognised as heir. This was supported by some, including Ethelred's chief advisor, Edric Strona. It was opposed by Edmund Ironside, Ethelred's third oldest son, and his allies. Edmund Ironside was eventually chosen as king and ruled until November of 1016. In 1015, Canute, the son of Svein Forkbeard, invaded England but was stopped from entering London until after the death of Edmund Ironside. Emma wanted to protect her sons and arranged a marriage with Canute. This marriage did, in fact, save her sons' lives, as Canute had his rivals killed, but spared her sons, despite them being potential political rivals to him. Emma and Canute were wed in 1017. On the 18th of October, 1016, Canute gained control of most of England after defeating Edmund at the Battle of Asandum. They agreed to split the kingdom, with Edmund ruling Wessex and Canute ruling the rest of the country. However, just over a month later, Edmund died and Canute took control of Wessex as well. Emma's sons from her first marriage were sent to Normandy after this. Though the marriage was a political alliance, Canute and Emma grew to love each other and had a very loving marriage. They had two children together, a son named Hartha Canute and a daughter named Gunhilda. In 1035, Canute died and Harold Harefoot, Canute's second son, took the throne for himself. Hartha Canute was named King of Denmark that same year, one of the kingdoms his father had ruled over. Alfred and Edward returned in 1036 to visit their mother. 
They were supposed to be protected by Hartha Canute, but Hartha Canute was focused on ruling his kingdom in Denmark. Alfred was captured by Harald Herfoot, blinded with hot iron to the eyes, and later died from his wounds. Edmund escaped and returned to Normandy. He only returned to England when he was certain it was safe to do so. Harald Harefoot had intended to rid himself of potential claimants to the English throne by killing Edmund and Alfred. Harth Canute began assembling his fleet to invade England in 1039, but before he could invade, Harald died in March 1040. Harthur Canute was then invited to become king. He returned to England with his fleet and mother. Once he arrived in England, he had Harald's body dug up and thrown into a ditch. In 1041, after being persuaded by Emma, Harthur Canute invited Edward to England and recognised him as heir to the English throne. Harthur Canute was ill and dying by this point. In June 1042, Edward became king and was crowned the following year. That same year, Edward accused Emma of treason and deprived her of her lands and titles. After some time had passed and the relationship between the mother and son had recovered somewhat, Edward relented and gave Emma back her lands and titles. Emma passed away in 1052 and was interred beside both of her husbands.